the complete combustion of acetylene or ethyne, C2H2, is actually useful because this is how people weld, at least here in Canada. What is complete combustion? Well, you need your reactant, C2H2, which is a gas at room temperature. And combustion always involves reacting it with oxygen, which is also a gas. There you go. What does complete mean for combustion? It means you completely oxidize your carbon. That gives you carbon dioxide always. And completely oxidize your hydrogen, which is water always. If it was incomplete combustion, then I might have carbon monoxide and soot, but it's complete, so I don't. This is it, this is my unbalanced complete combustion. Let's balance it together just for kicks. Two carbons here, two carbons here. Two hydrogens on the left, two hydrogens on the left. Oh, that's already balanced too. This is four carb, four oxygens, I mean. Two times two, that's four. Plus one, that's five. Quick math. Five oxygens on the right. How many pairs is that? Well, it's technically 2.5. You can do five over two. The five that you required divided by the two that you put for the fact that it comes in pairs. One, 2.5, two, and one are your coefficients if you're allowed to use fractions and decimals. If you're not, then you're gonna have to double all of these. That's two acetylene molecules, which gives you four carbon dioxides and two waters. See how one became two, two became four. 2.5 becomes a full five. That's eight oxygens and two makes 10, which is five pairs. Beautiful. It's right here, ain't no fictions. Best of luck.